Alright guys, it is lunchtime and I am here to put the wax resist on the bottom. That will hopefully keep her, the Katie, the studio owner, from having to do too, too, too much work with putting all of my pieces up on stilts. She's probably going to do it anyway, because um, I think that's just what, you know, her preference is to make sure that her kiln is protected, and I don't blame her, not even a little bit, but I just want to get used to doing it. Um, let me see. All right. So it doesn't say that I have to shake it up or anything. I keep looking at the bottom like I'm missing that from the first 1100 reads, but it doesn't say that, so I'm just gonna go all in. And I've got the brush that I marked for um, wax resist because it leaves, you know, that, that waxy residue on the brush. And I don't want that happening with any of the other brushes that I use to paint with. So it's best to have a dedicated brush. So that's what I have now. And I'm just putting this on those outer rims that are going to be resting, would be resting on the kiln if she decides not to use stilts because I am going to go in and add glaze to the inside as well. Probably, I don't know, maybe just a white glaze, I'm not even sure. Got a little bit on the side there. I think it's best to apply liberally, 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 liberally. I can't say the word, I know how to spell it though. Um, to make sure you get all the parts that you need, but don't have a dripping wet brush because it can just drop down onto areas. And because it's so translucent, you won't see it. And then you'll be wondering why your glaze is not holding in an area that you need it to hold in. So, you know, just make sure you get the coverage, but don't get sloppy with it. Last time I dipped the wax was was this. I sound like ah, I sound like Elmer Fudd. The wax was this. Uh, I dipped the brush with the wax resist in the water. I don't think I want to do that anymore. I think I'm going to towel dry it off first, and then wash it separately under running water. I feel like that's best. because I don't want the water to have a waxy residue floating around because I don't know what that might do to my brush. I'm not sure. It probably will do nothing, but... Okay, so that's been applied liberally. I don't know why I want to use that word and can't seem to correctly use that word. So I keep coming back because I will not be defeated, even though I'm being defeated. So I'm going to just brush this wax off onto here first. And I'm gonna squeeze it out. I used my hands to squish it out. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and super duper rinse it. Alright, hopefully that'll be fine. So, I um, think I'm going to keep the um, wax resist brush on top of the... Um, I'm going to keep it on top of the wax resist bottle. I'm sorry guys, I get distracted very easily. And I was sitting up thinking to myself, why didn't I use the rusted iron on any of these jewels because that was my intention and I don't know I guess somehow I allowed, allowed myself to get sidetracked because as it stands now I have sandstone I have satin patina leather amber quartz and black and, and I did mean to use the rusted iron and I think the reason why I forgot was because I was not sure if I was going to paint the majority of her in the tea dust because I wasn't sure if I necessarily wanted her to match the companion piece. I figured I'd let her have a vibe all her own initially, but then I decided against it and was like, yeah, no, no, they should match. So that's what happened there. So this is still just one coat of application, but because I didn't have um, everything ready yesterday, I did not get the bottom part. So all I'm doing right now is brushing it on to the areas that I missed. Oh, that wax resist is not a game. I can see where I guess I brushed up a little too far and it is rejecting the glaze, which is what it's supposed to do. It's doing its job. I should have been a little better at the way I did mine though. I'm seeing that now. But if there are too many white areas on the bottom that I can see and that bothers me, that's no problem. I'll go over that bad boy with the slick stick, make up this color in paint, and then I will go and tap those spots out. So I just want to complete this first coat for real, for real. Uh, watching the wax resist work is crazy. It's not a game. Just gonna hold it. It says the only way to get the wax resist off is to fire it in the kiln. I'm wondering though if I scrape, will it come off? I'll test it out and see in a few. Piece of my hair stuck there.
I didn't mix the glaze either. Just realizing that. I've got to mix this glaze and all I have is the broken stick. That's fine. This is a lovely piece to handle. There's so many areas where you can grip it from and you still feel like you have a very solid hold on it. I like that.
I'm not going to go into the crevices right now because I'm only at lunch. And I'll just start rushing and getting sloppy. I'll wait until I get home to do that.
want to make sure these lips are fully covered. I realize that I've started into a second coat. I'm not going to complete it though. But these lips have to be fully covered. You don't want any white areas. Especially not in the corners of her mouth. You know how we can't stand that. And if I don't cover her up completely, we don't want her looking all Tyrone Biggums-ish out here. Looking just ashy all around the lips. We can't have that. So that's why it took time to go over that. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean off the brush really well. And I turned around just in time. We are calling it at 27 minutes and 26 seconds. Let's just call it 27 minutes even. And I literally have to leave out in two minutes in order to make it back on time for work. So this session went well, accomplished everything that I needed to. And that's all I can ever ask of anything, right? So let's put that back up here. And you can see those white spots where the wax resist is. And I'm going to try when I get home to scrape some of that off and see if it makes a difference. I don't think it will, it doesn't. It's so slick that I don't think it will scrape. Oh no, maybe it will. So I'm just gonna have to go all around the bottoms when I get home and then recoat that with glaze so that I can make sure that's covered. Yeah, matter of fact, I'll need to take this off of here to do that. So that's what she's looking at like right now you can see the glaze is still wet because it still looks very dark she'll be back to a sort of chalky appearance once I get home and get to work on her again as always thank you for hanging in there with me I cooked last night I don't have to cook tonight so that means I'll be able to jump right into it when I get home and that pleases me immensely all right Catch y'all on the flip side. Peace. Oh, I forgot to do my quick spin. All right. Bye-bye now.